Ugh, you don't want any slice of that. Uh, I take city buses to and from my college campus. Uh, last month, I noticed a dollar on the floor by my feet. Since no one was near me and no one seemed to be freaking out over lost money, I decided to take it. I feel that if I had asked any other passengers if it was theirs, any unscrupulous individual would have claimed it was theirs, regardless of whether it was or not. What's the proper etiquette in this situation? Is it better to ask around, or is it a reward for the first person who knows it on the ground? Sincerely, victim of circumstance. Uh, victim of circumstance. What year are you living in that a dollar is worth thinking about? Yeah. I wouldn't even pick it up. I tear it in half. Have yeah. you seen the economy? It's not only the, the tremendous physical effort that goes into to bending down and retrieving an item from the ground. Uh, it's You're basically, you're selling your own shame. Whenever you pick up yeah. money off the ground, you are selling your shame because you should be ashamed because you're like a dog. You're like a plebe. You're like a peasant picking up whatever scraps of currency that people have left lying around for you. It's, it's shameful. And I don't think that a dollar is a good exchange rate. I wouldn't do it for anything less than 10. I read in Monocle that the rich are uh, have been taking up throwing money on the ground and, and waiting for poor people to pick it up. Yeah, for like That's, for sport. Yeah. Now, Fiverr. All right. Fiverr is a Fiverr is I uh, I don't know. It's a gray area in my mind. I say really? one f- fuck no coins. Don't be a that, don't be a child. Don't even think about <laughs> now, coins. See, I I disagree with that. If it's a quarter, I'll pick it up cuz who doesn't always need a quarter? That's the thing, man. Parking meters, I always need a quarter. Yeah, and who doesn't always want some gum? And you're like, who has coins? No one has coins. Yeah. You're basically it's a future it's an investment in future gum if you pick up a quarter. A dollar though, you can't even get a soda with a dollar bill anymore. Quarters you know what useful. I do? What? I just pick people's pockets. Just take it right out of their pockets. <laughs> Charles cuts out the middleman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're probably going to drop it anyway. Yeah. yeah. They want you to have it. They yeah. want you to have it. Now, pennies. Don't get me started on pennies. I don't Ugh. fuck pennies. If you give me pennies as change, like at the, at the Costco or the Speedway, I will throw them back in your face. You don't know, I think bending over to pick up a dollar is a hundred times worse than picking up a penny. <laughs> <laughs> what is... Mathematically, Yes. <laughs> Thank you. What is the largest amount of money that you guys have found just like lying around in the wild what, that, that you didn't have to work for? You just sort of, you happened upon it and you made it your own by way of your actions. I found I $64 I found dollars once. I, really? I found $60 yeah. in an envelope at Kings Island on a church trip. And I think the good Earth Jesus y thing to do uh, would have been to. to give it to the lost and found so it could be returned because you know you're a kid you put your money in an envelope when you go to a theme park because uh, you don't have a wallet yet but man no please tell me you did oh, that i put that oh that shit went right in my pocket i bought a fanny pack with that money <laughs> ironically if that kid had made that investment he wouldn't have dropped his money yeah well no you know i took the money i took the remainder of the money and put it right in the fanny pack because i'm i was a, a pretty streetwise young kid you're no sucker. I'm no sucker, and I wore it with the buckle on the front so that nobody could snap it off on me. Nice try, kid. I, I found $64 at work, and I did the right thing, and like gave it to my boss and said, someone's probably going to come asking for this. And they didn't, which meant 30 days later, my boss just like randomly handed me $64 and was like, oh, here's this, by the way. No one picked it up. And it was like the sweetest, like, hey, thanks for doing the right thing bonus. I don't think you get that same response from a dollar. Like, if you went up to the bus driver and said, excuse me, dear sir, I believe someone dropped this. Please hold on to it for me for 30 days in case someone comes to claim it. No, just go out and buy, I don't know. But when you're at work, you don't really have a choice in the matter, do you? Because I could just, like, when I worked at GameStop, like, I could just, like, open up the register and be like, oh, I found $2,300. <laughs> what do you know? I guess it's mine now. So I guess what we're saying is steal. Uh, don't yeah, steal but don't, like, go look and... If, and by the way, this is not rocket science. If you find a larger amount that's actually worth your investment, pick it up, see if anybody, look around, see if anybody's like giving you the stink eye, and then say, did anybody lose some money? And then they have to tell you exactly how much it was. Yeah, just and then don't they say, tell like, you that. did somebody lose $64? Someone lose money. Because <laughs> everybody will say, yes, yeah, right. I would never do that. I'm sorry. I would, I would never do that. If I find money on the ground, it's mine. And I'll tell you why. It's because I lost my, oh, my. I lost my wallet at Camden Park. Which is weird because I just told two theme park related stories in the same breath. But I lost my wallet, okay? And there were maybe $8 in it because I was just a little baby boy. But I did have my learner's permit in there and like some other like important shit. And nobody turned my wallet in. They kept it for the $8. The immense hassle I had to go through to get it like a new learner's permit and like a new, I had like my social security card. I had some shit in there, some important shit. And it was gone forever over $8. 
that just that made me the the angry shell of a person I am today. If I find any money or any object it. on the ground, it's mine. Sorry. So it's it's like pay it forward. It's pay it backward, it's, actually. It's pay it yes. inward. Excuse me? <laughs> it's pay it inward. inward. If somebody does something shitty to you, you do three shitty things to the rest of the planet. You feel better about yourself. You don't feel better about yourself. You just get angrier and angrier. And then at the end, so you, you feel kill, worse. In the end, you kill Haley Joel Lawson. <laughs> I want to watch that movie. But that's the termination of it all. All the wickedness that you've been building up, it all dies with him. He mm-hmm. dies for you. Yeah. Billy Joe Osmond died for all your minuscule sins, like he being $8 from He was kid. Pluto Jesus. <laughs> he was Pluto Jesus. Do you think the way I'm talking right now, and I have been talking for the past two minutes, is like how all criminals got started? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why and why did you murder that family? Because I lost my wallet at Cannon Park and nobody eight, turned it in. Eight goddamn dollars. Eight goddamn dollars. I had to go to the DMV, pay like 35 bucks, take the fucking test over again. It like completely ruined my entire day over $8. Not worth Apparently it. Apparently it ruined your life. You're a bitter human being. Yeah, I really, you're really angry about this.